Okay. The radium release hitch is, you will find, is very easy to tie, much easier to tie than the BC load releasing hitch. You need 33 feet of 8 millimeter cord, and you begin by tying a figure eight on a bite in the end of this cord. You should end up with a fairly small gain on your bite. You don't need a lot of gain and four inches of tail. So then I'm going to take this and I'm going to add it to a G-rated carabiner. And I want it to be gate opening down so I'm going to move it to the top. And then I have another G-rated carabiner. that I'm going to open. and then loop it around so basically I have a three to one there and now I'm just going to tie a mooter hitch just like we did before mooter right here and I'm going to clip that mooter in and I'll test it to make sure that that's the proper mooter and it is and now I'll configure it so that it's in the ready to release mode and then now I'm going to take a bite and I'm just going to come around and tie off here with a half hitch make sure you pull up enough of a bite So that you can come around again and tie off with an overhand. And this is the widely used method to secure the radium release hitch. So a half hitch followed by an overhand on a bite around the body of the hitch. And then you take the other end and there should be a figure eight on a bite in this end. And when you go to deploy this, you'll take this figure eight on a bite and clip it into the anchor so that there's no way that you can get away from you. Now what I like to do is put all of this into a small stuff sack. Which I have right here. So I'll put all that tail in there. And this is now ready to go. Insert this into the stuff sack. Along with this. And that's really all there is to it. Radium load release hitch, keep it in a small stuff sack.